Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, uh, wouldn't you know, we lost our friends again. Uh, but I want to make, I want to say two things. One, when I loaded up this game, that was my save file. I was like, oh my god, did I lose my late game file? I was like, wait, no, we lost everybody. That, that's right. Second, I am incredibly disappointed because when I was loading up the game today, I think I've told you guys this before, every time I listen to that opening cutscene, um, because right when that, um, that distorted guitar comes in, down, it's just so cool, and then I was thinking to myself, man, imagine that in slap bass, and so I YouTube Googled it and found nothing. I just think that'd be really cool. Um, yes, I'm in a mood today, deal with it, punks. Hopefully you can be okay. Um, so I've been getting a lot of messages on both comments and uh, in Discord. Once again, I do have a Discord if you'd like to join it to where we can talk more, you can meet more people in the community. Feel free to follow the About Me section of YouTube and you'll find the link there. It's there because if it ever changes, I can update it there as opposed to trying to come into this video and yada yada. Anyway, um, people have been saying like, oh, I could finish this game possibly this week, possibly not, depending on side questing. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to be like, hey, let's just hit this story because I really, I, my biggest gripe in this game is that to get a lot of the side questing in, you have to stop your story momentum. And I, whilst I know that's a normal thing in games, this game seems to do it more as well as I guess something's not even opening up until I open the door to the last boss, whatever that means. It might be incredibly literal. Um, to me, that's strange storytelling. Maybe not bad, but definitely not good. Uh, because you're breaking momentum. You're like, oh, we're right here! And I'm gonna go do like 12 other things. It's like, what? So I don't know what's gonna happen. I do want to go back and do that visit a Celia thing that I keep being told, so we'll definitely try that. I do want to try the um, Devil's Arms quest, but I don't know what else besides that I actually want to do. Because again, I, I want to experience the story. Speaking of, let's go experience the story. Let's go find our allies. Yay, look at Cutscene. <gasps> oh, that's us. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, black hole. Oh, tendrils. And we got captured by Narlock. What? Colette didn't try very hard after all the saving we've done, huh? They were in some kind of basement. Where the heck is this funky place? Hey. hey. Hang on a sec. Do you hear a strange sound? Why are they always ending up together? If Zealous isn't gay, maybe he'll end up with Sheena. A strange sound? I could deal I could do that because even with his like annoyingish attitude, I feel like she'd keep him in check to where for the most part his good qualities would shine. And whenever he gets all pig headed, he she'd just be like, Hey, either shut up or let's go to the bedroom. Like, I don't know what her prerogative will be, you know, maybe she'll be maybe she'll like him. Like I feel like every now and then she shows this appreciation of him as a person, and then, you know, he opens his mouth. So, it's really unique. It's really funny that way, but I could see them working together to, to, to some degree. So, again, I think he needs a strong woman to... to essentially tell him to shut the hell up sometimes. And Sheena is into the magic definitely circle. strong. Magic circle? That is like a void right, to let's me. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's do it. Start running. Oh. Ow. Okay, that's not working. What is this thing? What's that thing down there? What? What the heck? Isn't that where Lloyd? What does that mean? Lloyd's What's down there the too. Matter? You'll be huh? caught unless you hurry up and run. Oh, another illusion. Don't believe it. Such a pathetic sight, Zelos. What? Why is Kuchinawa? He's not here. It's got to be an illusion. Mm -hmm. There's no way those two would be here. Correct. It just doesn't make sense. You're so stupid. You've shut your eyes to reality for so long that you can't even tell what's real anymore. No, no, he can, and you're upset about it, uh, Igrasil. You grew up in Mizuho, yet you still can't tell if I'm real or an illusion? You really are a failure. It's not a failure. She's amazing. It's so sad. How did someone so unworthy become the Chosen? 
You see, you say that, but he beat you out on becoming the Chosen, so what does that say about you, Zealous? I just always find that logic, like, how many you do this? Like, well, they beat you. It's no wonder he betrayed his friends. Neither of you should have been born. Ouch. Everyone would have been so much happier had you not been born. Again, ouch. I wouldn't be happier. You brought misfortune upon the people of Mizuho. I also just realized how much I really like Sheena's hair. Like, that back, like, messy bunch is so cool. And I, I love ponytails of any sort. So it really fits. And I was thinking, I was like, for a little bit, I was like, hmm, surprised she didn't have more colorful hair. But now I'm like, I actually prefer that she has black hair because it just, it gives a great contrast to her light skin, to her purple and pink clothing. Like, it's great. It's really great to me. I, I haven't brought misfortune to... Can you really say you didn't? You, the coward who trembled before Vault and killed your comrades? Oh, heaven forbid, like a seven-year-old wasn't tough. One betrayed his friends and then came back shamelessly, and the other killed the people of her village. It was a ruse. Whether he figured it out at the beginning or halfway through, he still came through. A fitting end. Now, if you think you can run, run! You'll be devoured by the darkness and die. Damn it, we're gonna be eaten by that monster unless we do something. I mean, we could always fight it. You gotta be kidding! Would you like me to save you, Zelos? Beg for our forgiveness. Not doing that. And pledge loyalty to Crucius. Yeah, you're really not a believable illusion at that point. That, that monster Lloyd will was bestow there? eternal suffering upon you. You're not Mythos, you're, ex uh, you're Jassel. Mythos is a boy. Sorry, you're a different person when you grow older. If it devours you, you will neither live nor die. You will be trapped in true darkness, tormented in isolation forever. I'm sorry, am I playing Kingdom Hearts again? Like, what's going on? <laughs> forever. Okay, Riku. I can save you. Join us and defeat Lloyd. Oh, you can save me. He must be Jesus. Then it will all be over. Lord Mythos has agreed to let the people of Mizuho live. You would never say that. And he'll remove the title and duties of the Chosen from you and transfer everything to me. That one's actually believable. <laughs> Celeste will gain the power of the Chosen. Yes! What I've wanted more than anything else. The power of the Chosen. You'll let me have it, won't you? Just imagine. Your life will finally have meaning and value. All you have to do is pledge your allegiance to me. As soon as you do that, you will be saved from the Shadow's grasp. The people of Mizuho! Why do I feel like the real option is just to get sucked in? Like, to not let... Because it feels like he's creating a situation where he needs to save us. And we want to believe that he needs to save us. But if we just plunge... I mean, if these guys are illusions, what if that monster is just an illusion too, probably. Celeste will become the Chosen. Listen to me, both of you. Wait, what? I've what? come for you guys. I'm right down below. Not the kind of illusion I expected, but I guess that's Lloyd? I mean, it is red, so maybe? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The only thing down there is that monster. That's a weird twist on illusion, but I like it. Lloyd! Don't tell me you were eaten by that monster! Oh yeah, and he's talking to you perfectly fine from within its tummy. That Lloyd is the real illusion. The monster is mimicking his voice to lure you. Yeah, I don't believe you. I'm not an illusion. Do you think it's better for the people of Mizuho to become part of the age of lifeless beings? Do you think it's okay for Celis to become the next chosen who could be sacrificed at any time? Wouldn't do that to his sister. <clears throat> I... But... Both of you have mm. to decide for yourselves. But I have faith in you. I know you oh, won't run away, it? even if what we're trying to do is difficult. Don't forget, your lives have value just by being alive and being there. Lloyd has grown up and matured so much in this game. It's awesome. This is really good character development for, for so many of them, too. Just by being alive, my life has value? Yes, you're amazing, Sheena. Deal with it. A traitor like me has value? Yes, because you did the right thing. You made some crappy decisions, but you were like, you know what? 
that's not okay. How can I make it right? And will there be some ill feelings against him? Of course, but he still did right. That's so much better than him staying on Yggdrasil's side. Of course not. No life has any value just by being alive. Shut up. I have sympathy for insects, Mythos. I don't want to hear it. Shut up. <laughs> There's a significance in being born. That's right. Shut up. But if that's not good enough for you, I'll give them another value. They're both valuable because they're my friends. Hmm. Eh, that's a pretty pathetic value, but I suppose it'll do. Fair enough. Thanks. Thanks, Alice. <laughs> you reject my offer? Very much so. You know what I wish for, yet you still interfere? Yes. Sorry, but I got no choice. The guy who decided my value believes in me and tells me not to run away. Mm-hmm. Peace. I trust you, Lloyd. I, the sort of valuable Zelos, am headed your way. <laughs> sort of valuable. I hope I remember to make this episode named Sort of Valuable. Looks like you beat me to it. Are you running away again? No, she's literally going to stop running. I'll raise the entire village of Mizuho. I will kill you before you do that. I am not running. The people of Mizuho are waiting for us to reunite the worlds. Betraying that trust would truly be running away. <laughs> Sink into the darkness. Shut up, Edson. Salvation or salvation? Guess there's only one way to find out. If I wanted a more serious title, Damnation or Salvation would be a good one too, but I really like Sword of Valuable. It's just funny. Comment below what you would have named this episode. <laughs> Fishy for comments, yeah. Welcome back, you two. Welcome back. Hey, that was last episode. It's not like I can really run away from the fact that I was born. Um, can, but it's a very dark thing. Not gonna say it. Exactly. Especially since we now have our newfound pathetic value and all. Yep. I'm gonna try and face my challenges head on. Yeah, running won't solve anything. What possible value does one burden to exist with cursed blood have? Cursed blood? I don't think I've heard that... Um, phrase yet? One burden to exist with cursed blood. I wonder what that means. Sometimes running's the only way to save yourself. Humans are... so arrogant. Oh yeah, we're the arrogant ones, Mr. Half-Elf that's basically put himself into a godhood. Okay, <laughs> Bank Clarence. What is that? Oh, it's the insect thingy. What is that? A spider figurine. But it's broken in half. It's kind of creepy. It is. Maybe it's an admonition to not run away. That's a big I word guess for that's you. One way to look at it. That's where's Rain to be like, you know that word, or Genius to be like, do you even know what that means? Maybe it is. I'm gonna hang on to it as a reminder. Spider figure. Is, I wonder if that's what procs the Acelia scene that everyone's like, go do the Acelia scene. A spider figure broken in half cautions us against running away from our problems. It doesn't look broken in half to me. So this is the same place we came to before. Um, so we've been in here, there were angels last time, and there was a single room with a chesticle. I'm going to kind of assume they're still empty? Uh, let's go to the fifth floor. Not the fourth. Definitely not the third, but just the fifth. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I guess if you'd missed the devil's arm at the beginning, you could get it now. That's kind of cool. Um. Hmm. <sighs> oh, where well, we got the stuff. With Kratos' definitely accidental 
totally didn't see us and know that we were there. Help. <clears throat> uh, do I want to go up there? I feed off the fear and selfishness that lives in the hearts of men. Will you offer your selfishness to me? Sure. Fall into dark, pleasant sleep inside of me. This is going to be a piece of cake. The, what is this? Get him! Alright, Zealous, you're on heels, buddy. Ooh, get out, get out, get out! Oh, oh, that was it? I kind of thought this was like a real Magic ring. Colette discovered a comp- Oh my god, look at Colette's weapons! Those are sick! Light fled into darkness and you are now the new light. The coward who fled into darkness has lost his power. Okay. I'm just gonna pretend I know what the heck they're talking about. Uh, let's see what this magic ring does. I presume up your intelligence. Engraved with the word magic. Raises magic offense by 10. Okay, cool. Um... Sure, just give him a, a thing. Also, I was told that if I equip the material blades, and when Lloyd is in red HP and over 100 TP, I press like a bunch of buttons at once, I guess like square XO or maybe like that, something will happen. You motherfuckers are vague as shit. <laughs> and I love you for it. I really, like, I'm serious, I appreciate how vague it was. It was like, something will happen. <gasps> My friends, I want to save their f Hey, didn't he like... Dude, just Kamehameha wave it again. It's them. It is them. I'll save you guys. Literally just Kamehameha wave it again. What? Can we stop? I thought I just saw Lloyd. You did. Yes, he disappeared. What could... A trap? Even if it is, remaining here indefinitely... Would not be particularly meaningful. Let us search for Lloyd. Do I get to control just these two for now? <gasps> I'm so glad you two are safe. It, that is rude. Iggy, that is just not okay. Alicia. Impossible. And cruel. Please wait. I'll take you to Lloyd. It's an illusion. Alicia is dead. Yes. She was murdered. A little harsh to say right now, per se. I mean, I guess her being turned into a monster could be considered the murder itself. Yes. And what am I, Prisea? An illusion. Ooh, music faded. Are we gonna get, like, sinister music now? Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead? Because you are. I... It's true that I was murdered by Regal. But here I am, alive, in front of you. Isn't that enough? No. It's only an illusion. Be gone! <laughs> Prisea! We don't know for certain it's an illusion. Prisea, you believe me, don't you? Poker. Thank you. You! Stop. If you don't stop. Regal, I can't believe you tried to kill me. I mean, he did it once. <laughs> I can't believe it. Silence, Phantom! Prisea, move! If you want to kill Alicia, you must face me first. Prepare yourself. Pr Prisea, no! Stop it! Both of you! The heck? Lloyd's voice. Is this an illusion as well? A blood pool? But there's blood. I 
feel an evil presence from that blood. Be careful, Prisea. What's going on? What is real? It doesn't matter. Just settle down. Well, it sounds distressed. Why are you fighting each other? You're supposed to be friends. Maybe he's just upset. Oh, he cut what? himself. Wow, they saw that he is hurt. You aren't an illusion? Why did you stop attacking? You hate the one who murdered me, don't you? But, Enrico, why won't you just let yourself be killed? Yeah, the real Alicia wouldn't say that. You've always felt guilty about killing me. We've literally talked to Alicia Spirit, who's like, Don't feel bad, it's okay, you did what had to be done, I was in pain anyways. Uh. Here's your chance to end it all. Yes, it's for the best. If you are killed, you will no longer feel guilt. If you kill him, you will have your revenge. Crimes must be punished. Shut up. Both of you, get a hold of yourselves. Don't confuse who you should be fighting. Dying won't settle anything. Killing won't solve anything. That is merely logic. People are not moved by logic. Well, Sam, I prefer it. If the one you love is killed, you hate the murderer. And murderers must be punished. But if you keep killing people like that, it'll only spawn new hate and new revenge. Besides, you're just running away if you die. You'll forget the murder and the pain of that crime. Spawn new hate. Dude, I want a new Spawn movie. Running away from my crime. What mm, about my theme. feelings? You murdered me. Yeah, you don't have feelings because you're an illusion. The real Alicia already told us her feelings, so shut it. It is true that Alicia died, but I know she doesn't want things to end like this. Yeah, because she told us. What you're both doing is selfish. You're the real Lloyd. And that Alicia is a fake. Dude, pull out that little dagger and stab her. Also, I'm saying dude a lot. I apologize. I don't like using that word a ton. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. Are you going to kill me? Can't kill an illusion. You can only disperse it. Stop deceiving my friends. Her hair's cute, though. I came to get you guys. I wonder why he had to cut himself, though, to appear. And how he knew I'm to sorry. do that. I lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. Death is not punishment. Punishment is living with one's crime and working to atone for it. Correct. I closed off my heart and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes because it was easier to hate than to forgive. There are so many things you can do before you die. And I don't think everything has to be forgiven. But no matter how painful things may be, you just can't dwell on the past. Yes. I will stop allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One cannot seek a new world while dragging the past along. And thus you forget the past. The countless lives that were lost. You know how many people you killed, Iggy? Or are responsible for? You don't, you don't get to talk about this. And the pain of those that suffered. Crimes must be met with punishment. Interesting. What's that? A knife. There are nicks all over the blade. Maybe it's a symbol of your past. Let us think of it that way. Yes. So that we may never fight amongst ourselves again. Chipped dagger was found. Curious what its artwork will look like. A dagger with a chipped blade, a symbol of the past. Okay, um... Yeah, I need Zelos right now for his healing capacity. Uh, is this something I can fight? Yep. I wonder if these fights are necessary. All life bears sin when it is born. Will you face your sin? Uh-huh. Then sinners be judged. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Oh, this one's cool. <laughs> the judge.
Easy peasy. Right. Attack ring? Ow. Light fell into darkness along with sin. You bear your sin and are the new light. The power of the darkness has now ended. So I presume these things are optional, but that's really freaking cool. So that's considerable. So this will be what, 10% as well? That's 142 more attack. For slash thrust, I should say. Um. Dang. Um. Let's give it to you. You're a strong, strong gal. You're a strong gal. Um. I mean, I'm curious about over here. Okay, I was like, they're not going to let me progress that way, gotcha. I was like, because I need to go back to that main room we came in and just go the other way, I presume, uh, to the right this time. Oh, that's cool. Yams! People were all like, so why did you save? Because I was going to save right here. Boom, got him. I guess we'll need all the... Oh, we need to make the Carlon Darius emblem, something like that. It's probably going to be made with all these things we are collecting. Um, ooh, can I still purchase? I would like to make purchase. Por favor. I said por favor. Because I forgot to shop before coming here. The refresher. Okay, still good. Oh, are these? Oh no, the shop is down. That uh, duh, the one with the pills. La da da, la da 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 da. Is this not one of them? La da da da. This one has green. That one up there had blue. Does that make it active somehow? <sighs> Gosh damn, darn, done it, Batman. I mean, they just might not sell anything here, which is fine. Which is totally fine. Maybe it's this one, though. I don't know. Gonna give it a check. Because that does look like the vending machine. Alright, this is red. Are you active? Yay! It's a vending machine! Do I even need anything? I mean, I'll just fill up magic lens. Sure. Cool beans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for being such a polite machine. I really appreciate when machines say thank you. I'm like, I know somebody um, like programmed that, but you know, it just... I like machines. They're, they can be fun. And Oats is essentially falling in love with Chopper from uh, Star Wars Rebels. I don't blame her. He is adorable. <gasps> oh! Wait, where's Genus? Where's my boy? My best friend. Was oh, that just a mirror back there? Doesn't like it. What the? Oh, it is a mirror. Okay. Why is the mayor? Be careful. It's an illusion. <gasps> Mother. You think I'm an illusion? Yes. This is exactly why everyone says half-elves are fools. Oh, you're a douche nozzle. Rain, my pitiful child. Not even close to believable. What? So I guess if you hadn't done the side quest, would you still see her mom? And if you would, you'd be like, what the heck? A tainted child who received only half her elven blood. M mother Half-elves have no place in this world. You're rude. That's not true! It is because you are despicable halflings that I was chased out of Heimdall. You then literally you had sex with a human. Us? You're the one that had the sex, just just saying. There probably was no choice. That's why you were thrown away after you were born. Disappear from this world. No. Die! There is no meaning for you to live. Disappear. Die! Now! Humans and elves. Neither side wants us. That's right. 
No one wants you. I didn't choose to be born like this, yet... It can't be helped. It's your fault for not being a pureblood. Yeah, totally her fault. Uh-huh. No, you're wrong. No, they are not wrong. Half-elves are despised and discriminated against for merely being alive. Yeah, sounds like personal problems on their end. Our existence is a crime. No, it it's not the half-elves fault. But we... People who can't accept those who are different are the ones to blame. It's because of their weak hearts. Damn right, Laura, you tell them. Hey, you two. I came to get you. Came to get you. Lloyd. Now let's go. It's hopeless, Rain. You'll just be abandoned again. False. As long as you're a half-elf, the world will continue to hate you. I cannot get over still how much I love Rain's outfit. The orange, the the way the boots kind of come up in a spike on the sides. Her pack, everything about her, her attire and how she looks is just best character design. Just fight me. Fight me. Don't fight me. I just it's my opinion. Lloyd came for us, even though he could have left us behind and faced Mythos. Why would we leave you behind? You'll just be betrayed again. Because you're a half-elf. Literally don't care that she's a half-elf. At all. You may be right. But then again, you may be wrong. It wasn't because of my blood that you abandoned me. It was because of the world that hates my blood. And a mother who was too weak to stand up against it. Yeah. I'm going to stop hating that weakness. My hatred never changed anything. In order to change the world, I must first change myself. I'm glad I was born a half-elf. It was because of it that I met Lloyd and my other dear friends. Mm-hmm. Genus, do you feel the same? Are you happy that you were born a half-elf? Shut up, Mythos. That's ridiculous. There's no world for half-elves. Because humans hate us, I hate humans. Genus. But I like you, Lloyd. And I like everyone we traveled with. Because I think they all like me. Ah, we do. We love you, man. You're great. You're an idiot. You're deluding yourself. You're an asshole. I'm the same. Just like those that hate half-elves, I get mad at humans and elves just for being who they are. That's just going to make them hate me more. <laughs> My heart was weak, too. Is it a sin to be weak-hearted? No, but it's definitely something to try to improve upon. Not everyone's strong. Not everyone can stand being despised. Hey, you two. Lloyd! Thanks for coming! I'm sorry. I promise to make up for all the trouble we've caused. You, what are you talking about? We got trapped. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Hey, what's this thing that just came floating down? Book or a... I don't know. Not a book, um, look at just a page. They're fragments of the mirror. Oh, mirror. Maybe they're symbols of the weakness of our hearts. Yeah, totally. You should hang on to it. It's proof that you guys beat that weird mirror. <laughs> that weird mirror. Okay. Yes, it's a good idea. Okay, so we got defense, or we got attack, we got magic, we'll probably get defense now is my guess. A broken mirror, a reminder not to give in to our doubts and weaknesses. I reflect the bitterness that lies in the depths of your hearts. Will you face your darkness? Yes, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. Then be devoured by darkness. <gasps> I have Genus and Ray bring back the neglected. Don't you block? Yes, hit him with your fire's ball. Yeah, let's just knock him down. Or or kill him. One of the two. Defense ring! Called it. You have conquered your darkness. You have changed from shadow to light. That which was light will lose its that which was light will lose its power. Ah. Are they not supposed to do all of them? I don't know. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Just gonna explore this way anyways. It's probably gonna be like... 
there's no teleporter enabled. Oh, n never mind. Oh, never mind. I thought the little glowies was like, yeah, it's active. But I guess they just uh, don't want me to go there, and that's the in-game character's ideas being like, no, we don't need to go there, man. We're good. We're good. Pitiful Mythos. Mythos is a pitiful person. Why do you say that all of a sudden? Even though he let us all those half-elves, he no longer has any friends left that he actually trusted. Hmm. Yeah, I think loneliness can corrupt one's decisions. Leading to arbitrary judgment and tyranny, leading to further loneliness. Let's make sure we value our friends. Yeah. Yes. I love how... How Perseus speaks. It's gone. Uh, party. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 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 we'll do it in the next episode. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, in the next episode, we're going to go up through that middle. Take care of yourselves, but until next time, bye-bye for now.